Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rename effects and effects instances in Reaper. Now you may not have known we can rename our effects in Reaper. So if we open up the effects browser, shift F, we can see the list of effects and plugins in our install of Reaper. And we can rename any of these. Let's go to the Reaper ones. Let's say we wanted to rename Rea Comp. Just right click it, rename effects, and just rename it what we want. Maybe we could rename it Rea Compressor. And now it's going to be named like that. Now we want to keep in mind when doing this, if we change the name of a plugin, we need to remember it to find it again. So don't name it anything too obscure, but it's also useful for smart folders. Let's put this back. Let's say we wanted to label our favorite plugins with a name. I'm going to put love at the end of this plugin. And now if I create a smart folder, right click down here, add folder, and make it a smart folder with the filter love, Go to that folder, and only plugins with that name are going to show up. So we can relabel any of our favorite plugins or the ones we love, so they'll show up right here. But what's even more useful is to rename our effects instances on our tracks. For example, I have a vocal track right here, and we can see a bunch of plugins on the track. There's two re EQs, a re compressor, Another EQ, another rear compressor, and another rear EQ. So it's kind of hard to tell what each one of these is doing. Like this one, I'm using as a filter to filter out the low end. And this one is just cutting some mud in the lower mids. And this compressor is just compressing the vocal. And this EQ is boosting. The upper mids right here. And this compressor is DSing the vocal. As you can see right here, there's a high pass filter and a higher ratio to de emphasize the S sounds on the vocal. And then finally, I have another EQ that's going to boost the top end with a high shelf frequency. But like I said, it's hard to tell what each of them is doing with them named like this. But luckily, we can rename the effects instances. Let's open it up from here so we can see the entire chain. And let's name them based on what they do. Right click this one, go down here to rename effects instance, and we'll name it high pass filter. That's what it's doing right here. Then the next one is cutting out the mud. So we'll name that low end mud. Then this compressor is just compressing the vocal. And this EQ is boosting the mids. Then this compressor is being used as a deesser. And finally, this EQ is boosting the top end. So now we can see right over here what each one of them is doing. If we want to adjust our compressor, readjust the low end mud, or anything else we want to tweak. But it's a lot more useful to see what they're doing by renaming the effects instance. Now you're probably thinking this is a lot of work, having to rename these each time. But we don't have to. We could save it as an effects chain. Go back in to this window and right click, go to effects chains, save all effects as chain, and just give this a name. And now at any point, if you want to add this effects chain, along with each plugin in the settings, we can just right click over here. Go to effects chains and choose that vocal effects chain. 
and it brings it all back in with the settings on each, along with the names we named them. So we can quickly see at any point what each plugin is being used for. Readjust the high pass filter, the top end boost, and it was all saved in that effects chain. But like I said, it's only saving the effects instances. If we go back to the effects browser, the original effects names are still here. Rea comp, re EQ, and so on. It only changed the effects instances. But it's very useful to rename our effects instances so we always know what they're doing. So that's pretty much it. That's how to rename effects and effects instances in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.